over here um i'm in my new place yeah my eyeshadow is like really pink um i'm squatting on the ground right now um i'm in my new place in new york who would have thought that was happening um and i don't really i'm living in like a dorm style living um so this is my room cute um i'll show you around it maybe another time but my family left yesterday and that was really sad um except another thing that made it kind of bad was that so on the first of january this year um my dad came down with what he thought was food poisoning and like props to me i kept saying dad i think it's virus i think it's virus because of like how he was reacting to it um just like Word, but like I don't get food poisoning I had salmonella as a child and I haven't had food poisoning since and I haven't like gotten a stomach virus or except for when I got sick in China um but I haven't had anything else since um but I was like eight when that happened and then China like two summers ago so yeah my whole family ended up with a stomach virus like it's kind of progressed so my dad had it for a couple of days and then he was kind of better and then my brother I'll like spare you all the details of what was happening but it was like really great because we were in a hotel room all together so like um my brother then came down with it and he was really bad too so he didn't leave the hotel room for like over 24 hours and it was really bad because we were supposed to go to this place in Brooklyn he wanted to go to my brother's really into music um but we couldn't go because <laughs> couldn't stop puking and then my mom got it that was kind of a distraction for the last like 24 hours before they had to leave and um, i said i'd spare you the details but now i'm not going to um my mom actually i shouldn't laugh it's so bad she um when they were going through security she had to like run you know like through the, the little gate and the little the little metal detector <laughs> she like ran through there because she had to throw up and she she did like she was in line then she's like uh she like bolted and um she's like i'm gonna throw up <laughs> and someone gave her a bag and she like half filled it oh bless her but um yeah so that kind of distracted from me being really upset um and also my family so they're home now um it is like 3 p.m 2 30 3 p.m here um I've obviously just been putting on eyeshadow while fucking wearing them. Um, but no, I woke up super early and I was kind of sad. And I had a really bad pain in my stomach. And I was like, I am not getting this stomach virus. I was like, I'm going to sleep again. So I was able to fall back asleep. And I slept until about 10, 15-ish. And then I've kind of been up and awake since then. So I'm going to... I have a couple... I'm going to like meal because that kind of works so i have a couple things i'm gonna do today basically i'm still like confirming all these things with my internship um it should be fine it needs to be approved by my visa provider but it like should be and i'm i've like basically already accepted it i i don't think i'm supposed to but i did anyways because i wasn't gonna like not um, but that particular internship is why I'm in New York and then I'm going to yeah I just have like errands and stuff to run for that and I have to this week I have to go to the social security office get a social security number and then I'm going to probably open a US bank account um, even though my internship's unpaid but like that's another discussion but basically today I'm gonna go to Best Buy, Staples, which are next to each other and they're like a walk from here, like really close. And then I think I'm gonna go to Hillsong, which is weird, but also not. Um, I'm actually a Catholic, but then because I'm so liberal, I get really spooked by Catholic things sometimes. So, and I just thought it would be like maybe more social than go to Mass. So I'm going to go to this 6 p.m. service. 
I also need to like get my ID sorted for here. I'm sorted for my gym membership, so that's good. There's a gym in this building. So, um, I need to get sorted with like my actual ID for living here. Um, and yeah, I thought I would vlog it. I did like just peace out on Vlogmas because that was like a very stressful time of my life and I was very upset. So, um, and not upset, but I'm a very, very emotional person. So I cry all the time and it's just not cute. So that's one of the reasons why I have so much eyeshadow on today is to like hopefully prove out myself for crying. So, vanity in my life. But yeah, I have a couple things I need to get done this week and I just thought it might be worth vlogging it. Uh, my first week by myself in the city. Oh, the reason I'm going to Best Buy is because um, obviously I'm European so all of my like tech is European and I did buy a very cheap US phone. It actually looks fairly swanky though. Mm -hmm. So I'm filming this on my like regular Irish phone which I'm still using for all my socials and stuff and then I got this one from LG and I have like a US SIM that I got through my visa provider in that and that's kind of what I'm using for like this work phone almost and I have data on this but not on this and um yeah so that's I'm able to like use this the charger for this like the base into the thing charger and they're both like USB connections so I can charge both phones um but <laughs> I brought like Asian adapters because that's what I'm more used to and uh yeah I can't charge my laptop and I have stuff I need to do on that obviously so I've been talking for almost seven minutes over seven minutes so we're gonna go to the Best Buy and hope they have what I need because I, I really need it. So it's like an hour, two hours later. Um, I basically decided I'm not gonna go to Hillsong. I just don't, don't really want to. I don't know why, but I just randomly got a feeling. I was like, actually, no, actually, like it's gonna take me like half an hour to get there and stuff like that, but that didn't bother me. Like it gives me something to do. I've literally done like, not that I've done nothing all day, but I really haven't done anything all day. In the same way so I think I'm just gonna go to Best Buy and Staples well I hope you enjoyed all of those like clips <laughs> from me it was kind of busy out i'm really glad i decided to just do the few like errands nearby this eyeshadow was wild what was i thinking honestly though i love it i'm just like <sighs> anyways so i went to best buy was actually able to find what i needed so my laptop was charging and i actually just did that form now i had to fill in the form for my grounds pass because if you've seen my previous videos and you think you have an idea about what I'm talking about, it's a very secure <laughs> building and like area. Um, so I like, there's a lot of security and totally understand that. Um, so I just did that and then I went to Staples and I got a few bits, um, which I'll show in a second. And so next I want to print off some photos for here. Look at that feck sticker. Who is my mom? honestly and then my UCD pennant so cute so um yeah and then I went to the grocery store and everything like it's another English speaking country but everything here is so foreign and I feel like a real country bumpkin saying that but I'm looking at the food I'm like the fuck is this like because I'm used to shopping for myself um from college and because I'm a vegetarian so I've always like since I've been in college, even when I was home, I would do some of my own grocery shopping and I'd kind of know and then everything was so expensive, but it was the che listed as a cheaper place online. So I was like, my God, I'm glad. And there were like other people my age, like young people shopping there. I was like, oh my God. But I got a few basics, some things I needed. And like, Americans, I just have some questions, uh, some general questions. <laughs> and maybe I'll approach another day about food regarding oatmeal just a situation um so yeah i did a little bit of grocery shopping and i thought i bought english breakfast tea but it's fucking honey and vanilla 
disgusting. Like, I literally thought, why am I like this? But, like, is it in Othello? I did Othello for school as our, like, play, our Shakespearean play that we had to study. I think it's in there. He says, what fresh hell is this? And um, that's an expression I use, like, all the time, unintentionally. I literally looked at the box and I thought, what fresh hell is this? I just want tea. And now I have a bottle of Diet Coke. I was like, you've been so good, Anime. No crying. Get Diet Coke for yourself. And um, I can't open it, so it's a good day. I just ate some whole grain healthy tortilla chips and healthy hummus, so I'm riveting. Um, and I was catching up on some vlogs because now I could charge my laptop and everything. <clears throat> but some hummus packaging. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I thought I would just show you the couple pieces I picked up in Staples. So, if I haven't explained this already, which I kind of have, but I will get to explaining later in the week as well. This internship is officially until the 14th of June and then there's a possible extension I've been told. Right now I don't know if I'm gonna take it or not and I would assume not. Um, we're not gonna get into it but I would like to move somewhere else and you know maybe I will get really settled here um, but I think it would be fun to change. So, um, I would really love to be in Boston or maybe DC, just go a little crazy and given my, what is set up right now to be my internship, even though I haven't started it yet and I'm very like, don't count your chickens before they've hatched, um, oh, I'm hoping it'll put me in a good position to get another good internship for the summer and autumn. So, <clears throat> anyways what i'm saying about that is i really don't want to buy much as far as like homeware so i bought that bedspread how beautiful is my tory bird oh. um so i bought that bedspread bought this cute kate spade floor mat and then like this mirror other than that i don't plan on buying like any other like hardware type things that can't be left behind some of these can be left behind um, you know, we're gonna be a little bit nomadic and that's why these things are small. Like, did I need to explain that? No. Did I? Why? I don't know. So, in Staples I bought this pen pot and yes, it is the cheapest one I could find because all these things are probably gonna get, get left behind for somebody else, which is fine for them. But this is to hold my makeup brushes, not my pens because I'm trying to make it a little bit more me and maybe I will put pens in here too like I'm a gross girl I don't care um I also bought these these are so cute though these have come with me uh, these little uh, push pins um I would call it a thumbtack maybe <laughs> that's because I'm Irish but um that is for that board when I get photos printed I also got line ruled index cards got 100 of them I'm making because of where I'm going to intern. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't want to say, but um, it's a really, really big place, and there's like a lot of very important people. But that's like everywhere. So, what I plan on doing is making a who's who of where I'm going to be interning. Touch wood. Um, <clears throat> so, kind of the person where they're from. Um, because that's important, ding ding, um, <laughs> pretty bad week, um, like what their department is in what section they are in, because as I said before, it's massive, and I'm probably going to put like three or four of these together, maybe more, um, and I have, like, on my computer, I have the structure of the whole organisation, um, and then to see where, like, people fit in, just so I'm not, like, the dopiest person there, you know? I'm definitely going to be the shortest. No, not definitely. Almost definitely. Um, but I thought that would be a good idea. So I know who's who. And things change pretty often. So um, I would know previous people who are involved. But not everybody right now. So I'm going to do that. That's why I was getting those. Then I just got 
the cheapest notepad I can find. And it has an ugly thing on top, so I'm going to put some of my own. It has a fashion header. Ooh. And I'm going to put some of my own washi on top of that because mine's cuter. It's so much cute washi and staples. Oh my god. And then I got paper made ink jewelry. They were on sale. They were like half price. So I was like, I can use some colorful pens now because I'm not doing as much sticker planning. So that's my little not my perfume, my little staples haul. I didn't say earlier as well. The reason it took me so long is I went to the residence office because I had to get like all my security stuff done and it, it, they were like, they wouldn't let me into the building and all this stuff and I was like, no, I live here. They were like, it's not working, <laughs> go upstairs. And I was like, no, I was upstairs earlier. They said it'll take a couple hours, might be tomorrow. So they let me in eventually, obviously. But This video is going to be way too long, it's just me talking about groceries. The only, you don't get any notifications and then as soon as you try and do this, you get notifications. So, I'm heading to bed early, here's a move on, it'll come down, I don't sleep with my hair up, I can't do that anymore. Um, but, <laughs> I took off my makeup, I look like an entirely different person. Um, my acne is still bad even though I'm 22, yes! Um, I... I'm gonna go to bed soon. I'm actually gonna watch stuff on Netflix, but I'm gonna set an alarm and I'm hopefully going to shop the after party sale tomorrow. The Leopold's are after party sale starts at 8 a.m. So hopefully going to shop a little bit of that. Um, I honestly haven't had the best evening, so I'm probably gonna run in the morning. I like by morning I mean like in the afternoon, like earlier part of the day um yeah basically what i was saying was i haven't had a good evening uh just everything getting on top of me you know when you start to spiral yeah been a been an evening of spiraling um it just doesn't it doesn't help like like i just got here i haven't even started this internship and it lasts five months um officially with the possibility to extend for me but um i don't think i want to extend but i said that before and that's obviously kind of confusing like i haven't even started um but i just feel like maybe new york isn't the place for me and that's how i felt going into this and that's why i was so reluctant um and I'm just kind of looking at other, like I need to find a summer internship too because of my visa. Um, I'll talk about my visa in another video, but I don't know what I want to do with my life. It's simple as that. And you know, uh, it'll all be figured out, but you know, I, I am really interested in news, political news. So, um, you know, I'm kind of looking to do more of that sort of stuff and because hopefully this internship will give me a lot of it's with the like tv and socials branch of this large international organization the largest one hint hint um that'll hopefully give me experience and i know that one of my parts of my training is going to be in live broadcast so um and i have done a certificate in tv presenting even though that's not really what i want to well not not what I want to do, but like I just don't know. <laughs> this lighting makes me look so pink. I am so pink, but like it's hard to know. Like I don't know if I want to settle somewhere for the year, which is probably a better idea. But then this wasn't really the place that I had hoped to settle. I feel like I I was like like jilted about by DC, so that's why I'm not so sure. And then I would really love Boston because I love the city, but there just aren't the opportunities there. Um, and I would love that in the summertime as well because I have to think of it as like a lifestyle decision too. Um, and then one big place uh, for the kind of industry I'm in, as far as like news, if I went more news than I went politics, would be Atlanta, Georgia. So, if you know, you know. So, um, yeah, I was just looking at those. They have already posted their summer opportunities. And like the fact that I have to start thinking about that, I haven't even started this internship. And it's just a bit stressful. So, I'm gonna find something fun to watch on Netflix, like Queer Eye, edit this, 
maybe cry a little, I don't know, but we're just gonna keep on keeping on and I'm gonna take you with me for it, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, plan tomorrow is hopefully to wake up, stop the after party sale from bed, um, eat breakfast because I need to start structuring my day with food because that's not something I'm not good about is food and then I'm going to work out I think I'm probably actually gonna get into my workout clothes go buy laundry detergent come back work out and then do laundry because like you should, uh, you will see me tomorrow when I work out my girl gets pink Um, I might also print some photos but we'll see and also like I didn't pack fake tan I was like I don't need fake tan minimalist life look at me I'm so male so um 